This is RD Sharma Solutions Class 11 Chapter 19 Arithmetic Progressions Exercises 19.1 If the nth term a n of a sequence is given by a n n square minus n plus 1 write down its first five terms. So we have to find the five terms. Let, let us start with the first one. If it is a n equal to n square minus n plus 1, you just have to replace n by 1, n by 2, n by 3, n by 4, n by 5. So a 1, put n equal to 1, what do you get? 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1, what do you get? 1. So the first term of this sequence is 1. Now take one more term, let us take a 5, a 5 is what? Put n equal to 5, 5, equ 5 square minus 5 plus 1. 5 square is 25, 25 minus 5 is 20, 20 plus 1 is 21. So what are you going to get? 21. So this is the first terms. These are the first five terms. A sequence is defined by a n equal to n cube minus 6 n square plus 11 n minus 6. Now n has to be a natural number. Show that the first three terms of the sequence are 0 and all other terms are positive. First three terms are 0 and after that that is the fourth term onwards are all positive. So first second term we can easily find out right let us find out a3 just put uh, n equal to 3 3 minus 6 into 3 square I am replacing n as 3 here so it will be 11 into 3 minus 6 what are you going to get 9 is a 27 27 Minus 6 into 3 is a 9. 6 times a 54. 54 plus 33. 33. 3 into 11 is 33. And then we have minus 6. What do you get? You get a 0. 27 plus 33 minus 56 minus 6 is going to be 0. So A1, A2, A3 are 0. Now coming to the other part. All other terms after 3 should be positive. When n is greater than or equal to 4, this a n should be positive. How to do this? a n is given as n q minus 6 n square plus 11 n minus 6. And I can see a formula embedded in it. I can see a formula which is embedded in it. That is n minus 2 whole q minus n minus 2. Now how, how, are it, how is it going to come? Let, let me just show you, okay, n minus 2 whole cube, let us try to solve it so that we get n cube minus 6 n square plus 11 n minus 6. So let us take n minus 2 whole square into n minus 2, just, uh, it, this is not a way of, so, to, of solving this question, I am just giving you an idea, how did I come to n minus 2 whole cube minus n minus 2. So n minus 2 whole square, uh, n minus 2, so I am taking n minus 2 common from both the terms, so you get n square n minus whole square that is n square plus 4 minus 4n and then you have this minus n minus 2 what do you get n minus 4 minus 4n and then you have 4n and 4 plus 4 minus 1 is 3 so n minus 2 is outside multiply inside what do you get n cube minus 4n square plus 3n minus 2n square plus 8n and minus 6 so what do you get n cube minus 6n square plus 11n minus 6. So this is what? Same thing. So you can write this as a 9 minus 2 whole cube minus n minus 2 and this shows that it is positive. This shows that it is positive. n minus 2 cube is always greater than n minus 2. Now let us prove it. Let us try to find it out whether this is correct or not. Just put n equal to 4. Just put n equal to 4. 4 minus 2 whole cube minus 4 minus 2 what are you going to get this is 8 cube minus 4 minus 2 is what 2 8 minus 2 is 6 so this is positive hence 3 are zeros after that positive now we have let a n be a sequence defined by a 1 is given as 3 and a n is equal to 3 a n minus 1 plus 2 for all n greater than 1 Find the first four terms of the sequence. Now these, this is a NCRT question. This is a NCRT question. So the, the thing is that an is a sequence. 
This is how we write inside the angle bracket. An. A1 is already given. A1 is already given. 3. And the other term, there is a formula. There is a relation. There is an equality. So, we have to find the first four term of the sequence. So, what are the first four terms? First, a, first one is given. And this kind of questions are called the recursive type of questions. Recursive, recursive type. So, what is A2? I am... I am taking the formula and putting n2 everywhere. So, a2. Now, in the subscript, you will get what? a in the subscript, you get a2 minus 1 and plus 2. What is this? 3 into a2 minus 1, that is a1 plus 2. What is a1? a1 is 3. a1 is already given. It is 3. a1 is already given. It is 3. So, you get 3. This is called recursive type of question. You already have one question. Then you get other, other uh, you know, a, if you don't have A1, you cannot find A2. If you don't have A, A3, you cannot find A4. So, this, just put these values here. What are you going to get? 9 plus 2, that is going to be 11. So, A2 is already there. Now, if you want to find A4, you cannot. You cannot. Why? Before going to A3, you cannot go for, to A4. So, A3, before finding A3, you can go to A4. So, A3 is what? A3 is... Now, A3 is what? A3 into, just put 3 everywhere now. 3 into A in the subscript, what are you going to get? 3 minus A2 and you have A3, A2 plus. So, what, what did I put here? A3 minus 1, so A2 and plus 2. What is A2? We just found A2 as 11. You just found A2 as 11. 3 into 11 plus 2, what are you going to get? It is going to be 33 plus 2, 35. 35. So, this is 35. Now for A4, you have to put 35. A, you have to, uh, now here see, you put uh, 35 here, 3 into 35 plus 2, it is going to be 107, right? So this is how this is a recursive kind of thing. You have to find the previous thing to find the next thing. Now this is also a NCRT question. Let AN be a sequence. Write the first five terms in each of the following. So there are three parts here. Almost similar, these are recursive, showing some kind of Fibonacci uh, flavor. So, first question is A1 is already given as 1, A1 is already given as 1, and the other terms which is greater than equal to 2, n greater than equal to 2, so it will be a n equal to a n minus 1 plus 2, a n equal to a n minus 1 plus 2. So, for 1 for a 1, n equal to 1, it is a 1. Let us find out a 2. a 2 minus 1 is uh, a 2 minus 1 plus 2. a is 1 plus 2. Now, we already have value of a 1. Just put in here. a 1 is already 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, you have a 2. Let us take a 5. Let us find out a 5. So, a 1, a 2 is already there. Now, let us find out a 5. If a, or you can say a 3. I cannot go to a 5. Cannot go to a 5. Because we don't have a 4 even. We don't have a 3. So, a 3, a 2 plus 2. That is 5. So, that is how you are going to find A5, A5, A4, A5, 1, 3, 5, 7, 11 will come. The second part is A1 is given, A2 is given, A1 is given, A2 is given and both the values are 1. A1, A2 both are given and after 2 with n greater than 2, we have an expression An plus An minus 1 plus An minus 2. So, A1, A2 given as 1, this is clear. Two values are already given. Now, n greater than 2, you have a, you have a n, we have a formula, a n equal to, or you can say a pattern or a relationship, a n equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2. Now, put a, a 1 and a 2 already given, a 3, and you put 3, a 2 plus a uh, 3 minus 2, a 1, a 1. So, a 3 and a 1 are there. You already have a, a, a2 and a1, sorry, you have a, just a3 will be 1 plus 1. Now, let us take one more, one more. Say a4. a4 is what? a4 minus 1, so it is a3. And what is this? a n minus 2. What are you going to get? a2. So, a3 is already there with you. And a2 is al already there. So, what is going? what are you going to get? It is 2 plus 1, 3. So, you can find out a5 also. And a5 will be what? a5, 4, a5 will be a uh, 4 plus a 3 and a 4 already is there 3 what is a 2 it is 2 3 plus 2 is 5 
So you are going to get 1135. Coming to the third part. Now here A1, A2 are given as 2. A1, A2 are given as 2. And uh, the relation is An equal to An minus 1 minus 1. So let us do it here only. So we have A1, A2 as 2. So A3 will be what? A3 is A3. Subscript A3 minus 1 minus 2. A2 minus 1. A2 is already given 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Coming to A4. A4 is A4 minus 1 minus 1. A4 minus 1 is A3. A3 subscript. A3 minus 1. That is 1 minus 1 is 0. A5. A5 minus 1. That is A4. A4 minus 1. What is A4? A4 is 0. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So the 5 terms of the sequence are 2, 2, 1, 0, minus 1. Then we have given A1 as 1, A2 also as 1 and uh, the expression is A1 n equal to A n minus 1 plus A n minus 2 for n greater than 2 because 1 and, 1 and 2 are already given. So we have to find out this A n plus 1 by A n for 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that is we have to find A1, 1 plus 1, A2 by A1 you have to find A3 by A2, you have to find A4 by A3, you have to find A5 by A, A5 by A4 and A6 by A5. This you have to find out. So let us start with this one. A, A3 we have to find out. A3 is what? 1, 1. So A3, 3 minus 1 is A2. A2 plus A n minus 1, A1. What is A2? A2 is 1. A1 is 1. So we get A3 as 1 plus 1, 2. Cutting one more of these. So you have to find A4. A4 is what? A3 minus 1. So A2 plus A, A4, A3. A3 plus A2. A3 is what? 2. 2 plus A2. A2 is what? 1. So you get 3. Similarly, you will get, get A4 is 3 and A5 is 5 and A6 is 8. Now put in here. A2 by A1. What is A2? A2 is 1. A1 is 1. 1 by 1. You get 1. A3 is what? A3 is 2. And uh, A2 is 1, so 2 by 1, you get 2. Then you have A4 by 3, A4 is 3. A, A4 is 3, A3 is 2, so you get 1.5. A5 by A4, what is A5? 5. And A4 is 3, so you get uh, 5 by 3, that will be like this. Now A6 by A5, A6 is 8, A5 is 5. So these are the values you get. Okay, this is how it is solved. sequences P is an AP, also find the common differences and write three more terms in each case. So if this is an AP, what are we going to do? Minus 1, minus 3. What is, what, what is this? Minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. Minus 5, minus 1 is what? Minus 4. Minus 9, minus 5 is what? Minus 4. So what are you going to get? Minus 4, minus 4 and minus 4. These are the common differences. So it is an, it, this is in AP. This is in AP. This is an arithmetic progression. So whenever you get a common difference, you can easily point it out as arithmetic progression. Now we have to find three more terms. Uh, three more terms. Or four more terms. But, so there are two methods. There are two ways. First is you already have this these terms. So A5 is what? You just add minus 4. Take the last term. And add the common common difference. So minus 9 minus 4 is what? Minus 11. This is the one method. What, what about A6? Take minus 13. Add minus 4 again. So minus 13 minus 4 is minus 17. It's minus 17. So this is the one way. And what about the other way? The other way is A5 is what? A plus N minus 1 into D formula we can use. This is the general term, nth term. So a is 3. n minus 1 is what? 5 minus 1. 4. 4 into d. d is what? Minus 4. So 3 minus 3 minus 16. 16. So what is this? Minus 3. Minus 13. Minus 13. And this is what we wanted. Minus 13. So this is how we do it. Second is minus 1, 1 by 4, 3 by 2, 11 by 4. Now subtract my 1 by 4 minus 1. You get what? 1 minus. 1 by 4 minus 1, minus of minus 1, 1 by 4 plus 1, you get 5 by 4. Now, 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4, what do you get? 3 by 2 minus 1 by 4, you get 
12 minus 2 by 8. You get 10 by 8 and it is also 5 by 4. So this is in AP. This is in AP. Now, well, if you want to find out three other terms, what are you going to do? Just take the last one and add A5. Just take the last one, add 5 by 4, common difference. And that is going to be 16 by 4. That is going to be 4. This is the method. This is the one method. The other term is what? The second method is what? A plus N minus 1 into D. A plus N minus 1 into D. General term. So, nth term. Nth term you have to find out. A is minus 1. What is N here? 9 minus 1. 5 minus 1, 4. What is D? 5. 5 by 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. So, you get D. These are, these are two ways you can do it. Next one is root 2, 3 root 2, 5 root 2, 7 root 2. So, you have to subtract this. 3 root 2 minus root 2. 3 root 2 minus root 2 is 2 root 2. 5 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is what? 5 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is 2 root 2. So, this is in AP. This is in AP. Now, we have to find out the nth term. So, let us take the A7 A term. How do we find A7 term? Take this is 7 root 2. So, I can easily find out the other term. Just add 2 root 2. 9 root 2, 11 root 2, 13 root 2 and 15 root 2, 17 root 2 it will come. Just add 2 root 2 to every previous term. And how about n minus 1 into d? So, a is a is a plus n minus 1 into d. a is what? Root 2. What is n here? 7. 7 minus 1 is 6. 6. I am finding a 7 term. 6 into d. d is what? 2 root 2. So, what do you get? 12. 12 root 2 plus root 2. 13 root 2. This is 13 root 2. And what is this? This is a 7th term. Now, 9, 7, 5, 3. 7 minus 9 is minus 2. 5 minus 7 is minus 2. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Okay. This is in AP. Arithmetic progression. This is arithmetic progression. And what? How to find the other terms? Just subtract minus 2 or add minus 2 to 3. 1 will come. Now add minus 2 to 1, minus 1 will come. Add minus 2 to minus 1, minus 3 will come. Add minus 2 to minus 3, minus 5 will come. And a plus n minus 1 into d, you know, we are going to find out this time a6 using the formula. a, a is 9 plus n minus 1, 6 minus 1 is 5, 5 into d is minus 2, minus 2. This is 9 minus 10 and this is going to be minus 1 and this is the term a6. Now, the other term of a sequence is given by a n equal to 2 n plus 1. Show that it is an AP. Also find the seventh term. So, it is an AP. So, just put n equal to 1. 2 into 1 plus 7 is 9. Now, put 2 into 2 plus 7. That is going to be 11. Now, put 3. 2 into 3 plus 7 going to be. So, 11 minus 9 is now 2. 13 minus 11 is what? 2. So, it is an AP. This is an AP. So, it is clear. Now, what is a7? a7 is a plus n minus 1 into d. First term is 9. First term is 9. Okay. First term is 9 and uh, n is 7 and d is 2. So, just take this a plus n minus 1 into d. You have to use the formula. And this n minus 1, 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 into d. 6 into 6. 6 into d. D is what? Common difference 2. 6 to the 12. And what is the first term? That is 12, 12, and the first term is 9, 9 plus 12, and it is going to be 21. This is 9 plus 6 into 12, and that is going to be 21. Okay, just change this here. That is uh, 9 plus 6 into 2. Okay, so 21. Another term is given as 2n square plus n plus 1. You have to show that it is not an AP. You have to show that it is not an AP. So, just put n equal to 1, you get 4, put 2, you get 11, put 3, you get 21. 11 minus 4 is what? It is 7. 11 minus 7 is, is 7. 21 minus 11 is 10. 7 is not equal to 10. It is not an AP. Hence proved. No common difference equal. There is no common difference. Hence, it is not in AP. So this is all about this exercise. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.